Floss doesn't seem to work for me. I never see anything on the string, so I just don't do it. No! Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about flossing and why even though it sometimes seems like it's not getting anything out, it seems like it's not removing any food particles, even though you might not visually see anything on the floss itself, it's still super, super important to floss daily. So the goal of flossing it's not just about pulling out food. Of course, throughout your day, if you're eating something and something gets stuck between your teeth, floss can get it out for you. But when you're flossing at night, before you go to bed, your daily flossing routine is less about pulling out debris and more about dislodging the biofilm that you cannot see and gingival stimulation. So let's quickly talk about both. First, the biofilm. So dental plaque, sometimes you can see it, especially if it's stained, but oftentimes you cannot see it. The plaque biofilm is a clear, sticky substance of bacteria, and if it is not removed regularly, the biofilm multiplies, which leads to both cavities and gum disease. You always have some bacteria in your mouth. It's just naturally there, the natural oral microbiome. Kind of like your stomach, your gut, you've heard of good and bad bacteria, right? It's just there. Same thing with the plaque biofilm in your teeth and your mouth. It's just there. And it can't be 100% eliminated, but it can be reduced. And it gets reduced and controlled by flossing. And of course, brushing too, but we're talking about flossing right now. So even though you might not see anything on that string, that doesn't mean it's not working. It is working. It is removing plaque, even if you can't see it. And next, gingival stimulation. The gums like to be stimulated. It's kind of similar to when you're working out. The more you lift your weights, the healthier your muscles get. Same thing with flossing. Although at first maybe it's not fun because just like your muscles feel sore after working out, your gums might feel sore after flossing, especially if you don't do it regularly. But the more often you stimulate your gums, the more often you work them out, the soreness will start to go away. It won't hurt anymore. This is why I oftentimes say to those who have bleeding gums, their gums bleed when they floss, I always recommend them to keep powering through. Continue flossing for at least 10 days straight. And then after 10 days, if you did not skip a day, the bleeding should stop. If the bleeding doesn't stop, that's usually because of one of two reasons. Either number one, you're flossing incorrectly, not using the right technique, which I'll link my flossing demo video in the description box if you'd like to learn more. Or number two, you haven't had a professional cleaning in a while and there is tartar below your gums. If there is tartar, especially if it's below your gum line, there is no way to safely remove that at home. You can brush and brush and brush and floss and floss and floss until you're blue in the face and tartar will not come off. This is because tartar is actually mineralized hardened plaque. When the plaque biofilm is not regularly removed, AKA not being flossed away each day, it will continue to multiply and harden. And nobody is perfect. It just so happens that lots of us tend to miss spots. We don't perfectly floss every day. There are spots, especially on my lower front teeth that I don't always take my time flossing every night, right? There will be nights where I'm so tired so I quickly floss up and down and I don't take the time to really wrap it around each tooth. Even though I know better, I'm so tired. And sometimes I go really fast. So when you're not perfectly flossing, even if it's just once in a while, that you miss spots. Those spots you missed are more likely to turn into tartar. So be sure to keep up with your routine cleanings at your dentist so the professionals can remove all of the tartar and also, of course, keep up with your home care every day of brushing two times each day and flossing once each day to continue removing plaque and doing your best to not let tartar form. So yeah, I felt it was important to make this video because I've had more and more patients tell me the reason they don't floss, the reason they don't floss is because they don't see anything on the floss and they don't feel like it's doing anything. Anything, so they just don't do it. But now you know, even though you might not see anything on the string, you know that it's still important to remove the biofilm and stimulate the gums. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.